Part 3, May-June 2015, Paper 12. Question 16. The diagram shows a hydroelectric power station. The reservoir is linked to the turbines by a pipe of uniform cross-sectional area. Water flows from X to Y at constant speed. Which statement about the change of energy of the water as it moves from X to Y is correct? Okay, so the water is flowing from this point X to Y at constant speed. When they mean uh, it's, a, it's flowing with a constant speed, that means there is no loss in the kinetic energy or no gain. That means there is no change in the kinetic energy. Water flows from X to Y at constant speed, so no change in kinetic energy. But the height is decreasing, therefore there is a loss in potential energy. That should be a gain in elastic potential energy. Okay, so we, let's see option A. It gains both gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. This statement is wrong because potential energy is decreasing and no change in the kinetic energy. Option B, it loses both elastic potential energy and kinetic energy. No, this is wrong because it's there is a gain in elastic potential energy and no change in the kinetic energy. Option C, it loses both elastic potential energy and gravitational potential energy. This is also incorrect. Why? When there is a loss in gravitational potential energy, there should be a gain by the other energy. Option D, it loses gravitational potential energy and gains elastic potential energy. Therefore, option D is correct. Question 17. A fisherman lifts a fish of mass 250 gram from rest through a vertical height of 1.8 meter. The fish gains a speed of 1.1 meter per second. So he's lifting a fish uh, through a vertical height 1.8 meter. That means there is a gain in potential energy and also gains a speed, which means that there is a gain in kinetic energy. What is the energy gained by the fish? In this case, we have to consider both potential energy as well as kinetic energy. Potential energy is MGH. Uh, mass is the 250 gram converted to kilograms. So I'm, I'm multiplying by 10 to the power minus 3. G is 9.81. H is the height. We are, uh, we are taking to 1.8 meter. So you, the answer you get is 4.41 joule. Kinetic energy is half mv square, so the speed is 1.1, so half mv square, so I'm getting 0.1 joule. To get the gain in energy by the fish, you need to add both of them, so when you add, you get 4.6 joule. Therefore, the option is D. Question 18. Water from a reservoir is fed to the turbine of a hydroelectric system at a rate of 500 kg per second. This means per second, 500 kg of water is flowing. The reservoir is 300 meter above the level of the turbine. The electric output from the generator driven by the turbine is 200 ampere at a potential difference of 6,000 volt. What is the efficiency of the system? So first, uh, to find the efficiency, since uh, it's given per second, we can consider power. So efficiency is equal to power output by power input into 100%. So let's find power in first. Power uh, Input power is equal to energy over time. Here the energy is uh, we are going to consider is the potential energy because um, our reservoir is kept 300 meter above the level of the turbine. So there is a potential energy. So MGH over T. So M over T is already given as 500 kg per second. So 500 into 9.81 into the height above the level of turbine that is 300 meter. So the input power is 1.47 into 10 to the power 6 watt. Output power, 
So the electric output from the generator is 200 ampere at a potential difference of 6,000 watts. So power is equal to VI. So I'm getting 6,000 into 200 as 1.2 into 10 to the power 6. Efficiency is equal to output power divided by input power into 100. So doing the calculation, I'm getting 82%. So the option is B. Question 19. Which row correctly describes the ordering and motion of the molecules in liquid water and in ice? when both are at a temperature of zero degrees Celsius. First of all, you should know a solid has a fixed volume and fixed shape, but for a liquid, liquid has a fixed volume, but no fixed shape. Also, they're talking about a constant temperature, zero degrees Celsius. We already know the average kinetic energy of molecules is directly proportional to temperature which means as temperature increases, the molecules gain energy. As a result, their kinetic energy is increased. But for a constant temperature, there is no uh, change in the kinetic energy because the kinetic energy will remain constant. Therefore, average speed is constant. So from this option, you can read and you can find option A, a regular pattern of molecules in ice, but not in air. So but not in water. Solid has a fixed shape, liquid has no fixed shape. Molecules in both ice and water have the same average speed. Why do they have the same average speed? Because their temperature is kept constant. Due to that, their average kinetic energy is kept constant. If their average kinetic energy is constant, that means their average speed is constant. If the answer is option A, Question 20, the maximum pressure that granite rock can withstand is 2.0 into 10 to the power 8 Newton per meter square. Above this pressure, the rock begins to flow like a liquid. The density of granite is 2.7 into 10 to the power cube kg per meter cube. What would be the height of a pure granite mountain whose base is just beginning to flow? So as you know, the maximum pressure of the rock is 2.0 into 10 to the power 8. And after that, it starts to flow. So pressure in a liquid or in a, uh, in a gas, that means a pressure in a fluid, is uh, pressure is equal to rho gh. Rho is the density, acceleration due to gravity into the height. We need to find the height. Therefore, I'm making height as my subject. So it becomes pressure over rho g. Pressure is 2.0 into 10 to the power 8. Density is given as 2.7 into 10 to the power cube. G is 9.81. Therefore, height is 7.6 into 10 to the power cube meter. So as you can see, that answer is option B. Question 21. 